For days, weeks, and years, Victor Murillo and Ana Moncada kept coming back to this no-frills store in Council Bluffs. Not for groceries, but their son, Larry. He worked there when he vanished. Mom is the one that uh, suspected the time that maybe he was in the store. Solo por allá se podía entrar. A mother's intuition proved right. There's a whole other section. Both parents and their attorney, James Martin there. Davis, want to know exactly where contractors finally discovered Larry's body and how he died. Did he starve to death? Was he asphyxiated? Was there gas fumes from the, the uh, uh, cooler? No hacemos presente. Murillo himself says his family wants someone to shed light on this case. Moncada says she can't fathom how in 2009, no one noticed her son's cries for help behind a cooler or when his body began to decompose. To think he was stuck behind there, crying out for someone to help him, and they never did. It's hard. It's difficult. There's a hundred unanswered questions here that they want to get to the bottom of. And As Davis helps the couple with requests for records and photos, Murillo tells me he hopes someone will help him. <laughs> Uncover the truth. Now, police believe Larry's death was an accident, and the coroner who completed the autopsy agreed. Davis makes it clear the Murillo family does not plan to file legal action yet. The family is asking for help to pay for their son's funeral. We have that information in this story on KTV.com. Julie, back to you. Okay, Jose, thank you.